Hello 108 students, welcome to section 2.3 and we are going to take on a section that deals with applications of linear equations. Okay, of course we're going to get going on page one and this first page here um, <clears throat> we're going to work with if you have your book with you or if you get a chance to go to your electronic version go to page 67 and I'm going to I briefly summarized conversions or translations from English words into addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. So when you're doing application problems, I know they are very frustrating for many students, but one of the key components of doing it is to think of yourself as a translator. You must be able to read English words such as the word some or more than, plus, added to, or increase, and realize they're talking about addition. The sum of two numbers is addition. Again, um, I'm looking at the page 67 on the book here. It's a, it's a fairly long table. Please take the time to read all those and say if I saw the phrase 24 added to a number what I know to do 24 added to a number a number would be the variable X that's an example of what we're talking about okay um, addition and multiplication the order does not matter such as 24 times X or X times 24 depending on how they say it that doesn't matter those are commutative properties of addition and subtraction, addition, addition and multiplication. Keep in mind, subtraction and division, the order matters. Okay, look at the words quotient, dividend, divided by, ratio, they all mean division, multiplication, twice, the product, multiplied by, subtraction, less than, less, minus, decrease. So study this table and make sure you're comfortable with the words and translating them into algebra meaning add subtract multiply divide and then um, we're going to put them in algebra equations here in a little bit okay so I'm looking at objective 2 I have I'm surely I told you guys but every time you see a circle number make sure you know that's the objectives you can match them follow along with the book. It says write an equation from the words so example 1 here 1a says twice a number Decrease by 3 is 42. Okay, so you got to have your translator hat on. So think if you're trying to help somebody in class, I usually talk about somebody who can speak two languages. Usually somebody will say they can speak like Spanish and they've got grandparents that came, came in and they never really learned English. And the student does know both English and Spanish and they become translators for them. So you want to read an English statement, English sentence, and translate it into an algebraic equation. So... If you hear the words twice a number, we mean two times x. Can I like to write straight down? I try to go from left to right and try to translate. So two times the number, two times x. Decreased by three. So decreased means subtraction. Now by three, should that be afterwards or before? And the way this is written, it should be afterwards. So it's a, it's a by, the word by tells you that it's after. The, the word is is very key when you're doing translating because the word is means equal sign so I always look for that is word and write my equal sign because I know everything to the left of that will be left on the equation everything to the right of the word is will be on the right and they put the number 42 okay so I write it down I try to do my first layer of translation and now I want to write it as a good solid algebraic equation a mathematicians don't use the multiplication symbol so we would write just 2x minus 3 equals 42 and you've done it okay uh, here's another one here real quick here we've got the quotient of a number by 4 the question is is it x divided by 4 or 4 divided by x if it said 4 divided by a number then that would be the right way but for this problem it's x divided by 4 the word quotient tells you to put the fraction bar in algebra we use division division oops excuse me Division is used represented by a fraction bar, such as 6 divided by 2. Okay, so the quotient of a number divided by 4 plus, that's addition, plus the number is 10. Now when they say a number, we're going to use x in both spots here. 
So we've got x divided by 4 plus the, a number, the same number, equals 10. And there you go, you've translated. Uh, objective number 3, key concept here. Keep in mind, every time you have an equal sign, when you have an equal sign, you have an equation. EQU equations. If you have no equal sign, you have an algebraic expression. Okay. An example of an algebraic expression would be something like the quotient of a number. And that would just be x divided by 4. It doesn't say anything about the word is or an equal sign to it, so that would be an algebraic expression. Okay. How about this? A number minus 6. That would be an algebraic ex expression. Okay, um, oops, sorry. That's, that's all we got here for page one, so let's go ahead and I'll see you for page two.